Hello, hope you all are having a blessed day. Today I would like to talk about how and why the narcissist mirrors you. First let's take a look at what mirroring someone means. Mirroring a person means to respond using the same behavioral patterns of another person, whether it be mirroring their behavior to abuse, mirroring another person's reason for lying, mirroring another person's ability to have empathy and remorse, and etc. So what does it mean when a narcissist mirrors another person? How do they do this? What does it look like? Let's say they have been verbally abusing you and devaluing you in one of their gaslighting campaigns. Eventually you will break down and cry. At first they will just look at you like you're a complete alien to them. They will push the abuse further by trying to convince you and everyone else that you are crazy. Ignoring that they have been extremely hurtful to you for the past 8 hours and caused you to have a complete mental and emotional breakdown. They stand there and do nothing but make excuses to why they can't help you and tell you that you are crazy. At first they will act concerned for you but will do nothing but keep twisting their knife deeper. The reason they do this type of thing is for a few reasons. Firstly they are literally getting off to your pain and suffering. They are getting off to the fact that they caused this type of reaction in another person. Secondly, they are collecting data for their next devaluing and gaslighting campaign to learn how to cause this reaction quicker and more effectively without getting blood on their hands. Thirdly, they are taking mental notes that this is how a normal person reacts to abuse, so that the next time they are rewriting the narrative and on a campaign to smear your name, they will use your reactions to their abuse and act it out around others to make the rewritten narrative of you more believable to others. The devalue and discard cycle can happen many many times. Until they get bored with destroying you, kill you, or until you decide you have had enough. Later on, when they devalue you, they will use you, and gaslight you, whenever you break down, they will mirror your previous breakdown right in front of you. When you see this it is extremely shocking. You realize that this person will literally do anything to hurt you and play the victim, you saw the mask slip and yet the narcissist continues to act and mirror your previous reaction to their abuse to try to make you look like the abuser and them, the victim. They mirror you as a form of gaslighting and projection. They try to get you to literally believe what you're seeing right before your eyes but you know that what you're seeing is a lie. What do you do in this situation? What do you do when your heart and soul is being crushed and they start mirroring something you did the last time they abused you? A normal healthy person would leave. They would run for their life and never look back. Empathic people being by nature very caring, stay. Even though the empathic person sees right through the narcissist and sees what they are doing, we stay, repress what they did to us and continue to help the narcissist. Because we repress these feelings, we suffer from dissociation to ourselves, alienation to ourselves, cognitive dissonance, develop complex post-traumatic stress disorder, and suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. The narcissist does this to you on purpose. They don't know what this is or why they do this to people, they defend this horrid behavior by saying, I'm just being myself. Which when you first got with them, they were a completely different person during the love bombing phase. Some narcissists will even admit that they didn't love you in the beginning. Which should tell you right there, if you thought that was who they were and they are telling you that it was a lie, then it should tell you that that is who they are as a person. A complete fabricated lie, a person with no personality of their own. An empty shell devoid of empathy, love, and remorse. Of course the only time they show remorse is when you finally leave them, which should also tell you that even that is faked by them. You see, they have to mirror you because they are literally trying to steal who you are and wear you as their new false persona. That is why the narcissist mirrors you, they truly are just being themselves. Who they are is a demonic Jezebelian spirit sent from Satan himself to devour your soul and kill you. The narcissist is jealous of you and what you have. You have, a life, a soul, a reason to live, faith, love, commitment, goodness, compassion, forgiveness, and etc. They want this because they have absolutely none of these qualities in them. They know you are a decent, kind, real human being. That is why they devalue you. 
That is why if you are an extremely forgiving person they will make it out that you are not. They try to convince you that you are the opposite of who you really are. Why? Because after they have completely destroyed you and leave you in an insane state or kill you, it will make it much easier for them to get away with literally pretending they are you for their next victim. I tell you, this is evil like I have never seen before. I know the devil is low, I just didn't know he was that low. The narcissist is a black hole, sucking all your good qualities into them and then converting that light into darkness. This is the pain you as a survivor feel on a daily basis. Witnessing someone that tried to steal who you are and destroy you just so they can use your personality as their new false facade for their next target. This is the pain of what narcissistic abuse is. I will tell you something survivor. This is something very troubling to me and something I never talk about openly until right now and that is, when the narcissist first entered my home I was just ecstatic and overjoyed to be with them, as I hugged them and told them how much I loved them, they very eerily looked me in the eye and said, I am Lucifer and I am here to take your soul. Now what kind of response is that when someone tells you they love you? Now given, this was said to me during the love bombing phase, of course at the time I was wearing rose colored glasses and just kind of ignored that statement. When you love someone, you try to convince yourself that they love you too, so you rack it up as just some odd quirk with them. But it was very creepy and has always troubled me very deeply. That is why I believe the narcissist is simply Satan's tool to destroy you. They are the devil's puppet. The longer you stay with the narcissist, the more covered they become. They never learn from their mistakes. You can't reason with them, they feel no empathy, they feel no pain, they feel no remorse. They will stop at nothing until they have completely destroyed you. They will hunt you to the ends of the earth until you are dead. The only thing that they know how to do is collect more and more data from you. Every time you find yourself stuck explaining the basic elements of human decency they are collecting data to destroy you. They are collecting data to turn everything you are saying to them around to make you look like an abuser. Over time this starts to feel like something is stealing your soul and changing you against your will. You find yourself saying the same things over and over. They turn it around on you every time until you either snap or break down. No matter what you do it is a lose-lose situation. Everything you do and say will be mirrored back to you, except when it's mirrored back or deflected back to you it is completely twisted beyond recognition and you find yourself re-explaining what you just said. Why do they do this to you? Because they know, that if the same lie is repeated over and over to you, you will eventually break down and accept the lie. They are quite literally brainwashing you by doing this. You are their pet, they must train you how to behave. The narcissist will always try to mirror you. You know it is fake but to the outside world, everyone else thinks it is real. But you know the truth and the narcissist knows that you know what the truth about them is. They must either brainwash you, rewrite the narrative of you to everyone else, or, if you refuse to comply, they will kill you. The narcissist has a lot of pent up aggression and rage because everyone they have done this to has left. They hate same people because healthy people stay away from them and they are angry because they don't get to hurt normal people. But they got you, the one normal and same person they could get. And they will never let you go. They will say and do anything to hoover you back. But that is another topic for another day. Back to what I was saying. You are their mirror, without you and your ability to mirror back to them good qualities, their entire fake persona will shatter into a million pieces. They have lost at their own twisted game. They were not able to completely take your soul and wear your personality. For this reason they will seek out any of your weaknesses to get back in to finish the job. That is why no contact means just that, absolutely no contact. You have seen through their mask one too many times and have decided that you will no longer tolerate being hurt. You know they will never change their behavior for the better. They weren't programmed that way. That is not your responsibility to help them with. That is their responsibility to work on. Your responsibility is to have the emotional maturity to never engage with that person again. They will never love you, 
it will always be a war with them. That is their problem. They have lived as a Terminator robot for so long that they don't how to love. It is not in their CBU programming chip. All they know is to make war in people's hearts and to destroy them. They are completely devoid of all human emotions. You should run while you still can and get out of that war zone for good. That is all I have to say today. I hope this video could be of some help to someone out there that is confused right now. Take care of yourself and be good to yourself. Show yourself the compassion, love, and respect that you deserve. Be kind and patient with yourself as you heal from this trauma. Remember, you are not alone, 